Hello, fifth grade, and welcome to week 15. That's American Sign Language for 15. You hold up five sideways with your right hand, and then you go down twice. 15. Let's begin this 15th week of school with a bit of God's Word. <clears throat> We're going to be looking at Psalm 40 today. And as we listen to Psalm 40, I want you to think about in our Zoom call last week, we talked about how the suffering people turn to God and say, Lord, help me. You're my Savior. And now we're going to hear in Psalm 40 about how David, who was the one who said, Lord, help me. Come to me quickly. You're my Savior. Say, I'm going to put my trust in God. And in fact, many people are going to put their trust in God and are going to exalt him. That means bring his name up and hold it up. Like if you're playing a game and you win a prize and you're holding it up, we'll do the same with God's name, hold it up. So listen to that in the psalm today. Psalm 40. I wait patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, O Lord, my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you have planned for us no one can recount to you. Were I to speak and tell of them, they would be too many to declare. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my ears you have pierced burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require. Then I said, Here I am, I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, O my God. Your law is writ within my heart. I proclaim righteousness in the great assembly. I do not seal my lips, as you know, O Lord. I do not hide my righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and salvation. I do not conceal your love and your truth from the great assembly. Do not withhold your mercy from me, O Lord. May your love and your truth always protect me, for troubles without number surround me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails within me. Be pleased, O Lord, to save me. O Lord, come quickly to help me. May all who seek to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, aha, aha, be appalled at their own shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation always say, the Lord be exalted. Yet I am poor and needy. May the Lord think of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Oh, my God, do not delay. And now let's join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. All right, guys, let's talk about now what we're going to be learning and doing this week. All right, for reading class this week, we're going to be continuing our study of Maniac McGee. Remember, you have your study guide that we're working with all the time that has your questions, but you write your answers on a lined piece of paper. This week, we're going to be reading chapters 29 through 35. If you're counting pages, it's going to be pages 106 to 135. Write your answer on these lined pieces of paper and then return that to me. That's what appears on your weekly progress reports. Now you're going to see that this reading takes us partway to the end of part two, and then a little few chapters in the beginning of part three of the book. And because of that, we're going to be doing a vocabulary assignment. For vocabulary, you're going to be looking at synonyms. A synonym is a word that has the same meaning or nearly the same meaning as another word. So example, you might have earth and world, those are synonyms. Smart and intelligent, those are synonyms. 
insect and bug, those are synonyms. So you're going to look up the word lumbering. It even tells you the page. So let's go to page 80. Let's try to find the word lumbering on here. There it is. Let's read the sentence around it. A mother came lumbering over, nodding as if to confirm. A kid. The mother what? Oh, the mother bison or a buffalo. Buffalo and bison are synonyms. So it would be a synonym for lumbering. Hmm, the mother buffalo came lumbering over. I could say came walking over. Let's read it in the sentence. The mother came walking over, nodding as if to confirm. A kid. That makes sense. So I'd write the word walking here as my synonym and then draw a picture of what that looks like. Then you're going to be taking a quiz since we ended part two. That ended on page 118. You're going to be matching. You have 15 keywords or events or places and then 15 descriptions of those events. You're going to match those up correctly with the letter. For spelling, this week we're going to be studying words that have a vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. So let's look at this first one. Arrive, A, vowel, two consonants, R, R, vowel, I. So we don't say arrive, we say arrive because those two consonants. Collect, notice how I said that? A lot of people say collect, but because of those two L's, you pronounce it collect. Essay, vowel E, two consonants SS, vowel A, so we say essay, not essay. Remember, if you've got your memory cues, two worksheets, and your test. Then you also have a handwriting sheet. Practice your handwriting to get better. For grammar this week, we're going to be studying an antecedent. Antecedent. Now, the antecedent is the word in which a pronoun refers. So, example, after Tanya finished her homework, she went outside to play. Pronoun is her. Who's her? Tanya is her. Pronoun she. Who is she? Tanya is she. Sometimes it doesn't have to be in the same sentence, though. So, I must hurry home to feed my puppy. He will be hungry. He. Who's he? Puppy is he. Puppy is the antecedent. Then you have to make sure that it agrees in puppy, or I'm sorry, in gender and number. So I, I would say uh, Maggie picked up her backpack. She put it over her shoulder, right? I don't say Maggie picked up her backpack. He put them over her shoulder because Maggie's a girl. So I need to say she. In the backpack, there's only one. That's number. So I say it. And then remember, you have three practice assignments for grammar. For history, you're going to be taking a quiz, numbering these 10 events in chronological order. Remember, there is an audio recording to go along with this. Listen to the audio recording first called Audio 1 History. What did you miss? Listen to that first and then take this quiz. <clears throat> science, again, something new. I have a recorded lesson for science. It's called Audio 4, A Breath of Wind. Follow along the article with me. And then you have your questions, vocabulary, and then you're going to be doing a map-making exercise about Tornado Alley. For religion, there's also audio lessons called Audio 2, Jesus Heals the Centurion's Son, and Audio 3, Jesus Heals the Canaanite's Woman's Daughter. You need your Bibles, answering each question mark with one answer on the line. So my first box here. I see one, two, three question marks, so I need one, two, three answers. And then we're going to be wrapping up our study of subtracting fractions this week. Woohoo! So this last week for fractions for a while. Remember, there's a video lesson for each worksheet. And because it's the last week in our unit of subtracting fractions, you do have a post test. Your post test there is a review lesson to go along with that as well do your best all right and please reach out to me 
text, call, email with your questions, or come to the Monday drive through and ask me your questions. And remember, our Zoom calls every Tuesday and Thursday at 2 o'clock. And you can join us for religion, reading, and question and answer time there as well. God be with you. God bless you this week.